we all want to be able to change the way we feel. And that's what I spend my life showing people how to do. And what most people don't know is emotion is created by motion. The way you move determines the way you feel. You have 80 different muscles in your face, 80. For most people, this is the largest area of unemployment in the country. <laughs> they use their ma the face the same way, they feel the same emotions over and over and over again. So what I was saying is I have this deal with myself called priming. Every day I say, look, you gotta have 10 minutes for yourself. If you don't have 10 minutes for yourself, you don't have a life. And I'm not gonna hope I feel good. I, don't, I just got back uh, six countries in 12 days. I was in India two days ago. Wow. And I woke up here wanting, like, feeling like a, somebody ran me over with a truck. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but and you I, got yourself psyched up. But, and... the, but the way I did it is I do this process. It's 10 minutes, I put some music on, I do this massive change in my breathing so it radically changes the way I feel. And then I do this three-step process. First, I do three minutes of gratitude where I think of three things I'm really grateful for and I associate, I don't think of it over there, I feel it. And the reason is, when you're grateful, you can't be worried. You can't be fearful. When you're grateful, you can't be angry. And anger and fear are what screw people up most in their relationships, mm -hmm. in their life, in their business. So I wire myself. I was saying to you that most people want to be happy, but their habit is to be worried or pissed off or frustrated <laughs> or stressed. And so they're, they've got a highway to stress and they got a dirt road to happiness. So I wire myself. I've got a highway to gratitude, which changes all your emotions. And then I do three minute process of kind of a prayer for my family and friends and then I do a three minute process of the top three things I want to accomplish. I see it as done and I feel it. I'm done in 10 minutes. So sometimes I go 20. But my deal is 10 so there's no excuse not to do it. Most people have a belief about what their real potential is no matter what you tell them. And that affects how much action they take. And of course that affects the result and then ironically that result reinforces their belief. And then that belief affects it. So I'll give you an example. Let's say a person has unlimited potential, we all agree. But they take little action, little results, why? Because they have to start with a problem with their belief. They don't believe it's really gonna happen for me. Maybe for Frank Kearns, because he's got the cool hair and stuff, or maybe it's for you because you're so driven, but it's not me. Maybe Tony Robbins, because he's a freak, got these big teeth. Whatever their thought process is, right? They got this thing, right? But what happens is, if you believe that there's very little potential, how much action are you gonna take? Nothing, little. And when you take little potential with a little action, what kind of results do you get? Lousy little results. And when you get little results, what does that do to your belief? You go, see, I told you this was a waste of time, told you this wouldn't work. And then what happens, you tap even less potential, you take even less action, you get even worse results and your belief gets even weaker. And this sucker feeds on itself until you are in a downward spiral. It's poisonous. It's poisonous and it's self-fulfilling. Now, what if something could happen that could come along and fill you with a sense of absolute certainty? Not like, I believe, but I mean, well, you know. In you guys' case, mine as well, we knew because we had to. Because we burned the boats. There was no other option. We had to find a way. We'd have, we weren't going to live that way. We all did it in different ways and for different reasons, but in essence, that was it. If you get yourself in a state of certainty that this is going to work, I'm going to find a way, and if this doesn't work, I will make the way, then you tap a lot more potential. And when you're certain in your potential, you take massive action. When you take massive action, you really believe in something, you get great results. When you get great results, your brain goes, see, I told you I was a stud. I told you this thing would work out. Now you're even stronger. You tap more potential, take greater action, greater results. That's how you went from 300 bucks in a week to 2,500 in five days, to 100,000 in a month, to a million bucks in a day. Same thing with you. And we get momentum. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Now some people go out and they go, well, I'm gonna take a bunch of action, all right? I'm gonna open this product, I'm gonna try it. And they'll say to you, I even did it. But it's like a salesman who goes and knocks on the door and he knocks on 100 doors and says, You don't want one of these, do you? Yeah, exactly right. You know? <laughs> and even if he doesn't say it verbally, his face says it because he doesn't believe it's gonna work. So his voice, his body, the execution is so weak. Maybe if he talks to 100 people, somebody's gonna buy out of pity. <laughs> they don't want his kids to starve, right? But he's not gonna get the result. So the core difference in people is how do you produce certainty when the world isn't giving it to you? You go out and you try and you try in your case, you're 100,000 in debt and nothing's working. How do you keep yourself going? The way you did it, the way I did it, the way you're doing it, we may not have done it consciously, is we didn't change our potential, that was there. And it wasn't even taking more action. Taking more action with a belief is not gonna work, it's not gonna change anything. We got results in our head that made us feel certain as if it had already happened. See, whatever you're looking for, you're gonna find. So if you want to change your life, my friends, you got to change your physiology and you got to change your focus. By the way, how fast can you change that stuff? How fast, my friends, how fast? How fast, come on. In a heartbeat, once you rechange your conditioning, that's all you got to do. And you can do it fast. You can do it with a question or two. Try this right now, answer this question in your mind and be honest. 
What in your life today, if you wanted to be, could you feel proud about right now? If you wanted to feel proud, if you didn't feel like, I shouldn't be proud. If you wanted to feel proud, what could you be proud of in your life today? Your children, your health, your body, is there a problem you faced? Instead of running from it, you finally stepped up and handled it? What could you feel proud of in your life today? If you wanted to feel proud? How many can think of something? And when you think about this thing you're proud of, what about that makes you feel proud? What do you focus on that makes you feel proud? How do you breathe when you really start to feel proud? What's the kind of look on your face that starts to happen when you let yourself feel proud? Yeah. How's that feel? Hmm. Think of another area of life. Think of an area of life that you're grateful for. Or if you go, I'm not grateful. If you wanted to be grateful, what's an area you could feel grateful for? What could you feel grateful for if you really wanted to feel grateful? How many can think of something you can feel grateful for? Let me switch your hands. And what about that are you grateful for? What do you focus on that makes you feel grateful? How does it feel when you're really, truly feeling filled with gratitude? Here's one. If you wanted to be excited about your life right now, and you were willing to be excited, you were willing to buck everybody else's trend, what could you feel excited about in your life if you wanted to feel excited? What could you get excited about if you really focused on it and you really took it in? And you weren't in a negative place. What could you get excited about if you wanted to be excited in your life? What could you get excited about? How many of you can think of something you feel excited about right now? Raise your hand. Let me see your hand. Say I. When you're really excited about it, what about that excites you? Or when you're really excited, how do you feel? How do you speak? What's your life like? By the way, when you're excited, does it tend to touch other people? Yes or no? Absolutely. By the way, do people have a tendency? But who feels different right now than just even a couple moments ago? Raise your hand and say, I. Why? Because focus is controlled by questions. If you ask a different question continuously, not once, continuously, you will get a different answer. If you ask a lousy question, you get a lousy answer and a lousy state. Somebody says, why does this always happen to me? It doesn't always happen to you, but the brain's like a computer. Ask it a question, it'll have to come up with an answer. Because you deserve it, you idiot. Someone will say, how come I can never lose weight? You can lose weight, but if you keep saying, how come I can never lose weight, the brain's got to come and answer. It goes, you're a pig. Lousy questions create what? Lousy answers. Ask a better question, get a better answer. Now here's what I want you to get. I want you to get that you can change your state. How fast, guys? How fast? How fast? And if you get the habit of doing it, you'll have a different life. If you find your passion, you're going to have this tremendous energy. It's sustainable energy. But momentum requires you always do the next thing to keep the momentum going. And the reason you get yourself in a passionate place is so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. You don't make decisions when you're like, oh, I don't know, what do you think? All right, let's decide. If you make a decision in a state without momentum, if you make a decision from a place where there's no passion, you are not going to get momentum. It'll kill momentum. It's decide, commit, and resolve. Some of you, in the past, you've gotten momentum. You've gotten passionate. You've even made a decision. But a decision is the first step. Decision is like a war. I got to do this or that. All right, I'm going to make myself do this. But commitment is when you now, after you've decided, you commit to do this for the long term. Whether it's hard or easy, doesn't matter. You're doing this. It takes it from this moment, and it carries it into the future, even when things are difficult. And the third state is resolve. Resolve means it's done. 
It's like, it doesn't even if you took action, it's done inside you, so it's done out there. There's no question whatsoever. Then once you decide, the only way the commitment and the energy and the momentum continues is if you take immediate, massive what, my friends? Massive what? Write down in your notes, massive action is the cure-all. Massive action is the cure-all. If you're having a difficult time with something, your relationship isn't where you want it to be, your finances are not where you want to be, your body's not where you want to be, your business is not where you want to be, you need to take massive action. And if that doesn't work, try something else. If that doesn't work, try something else. Keep going with massive action and you will find the way because it will give you momentum.